Hey guys, it's Chris from Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm uh, I'm just kind of weak tonight, kind of tired. Uh, I've got staph infection in my legs uh, that I got from tick bites when I was down in Florida, and uh, I didn't want to go to the doctor down in Florida because I didn't know what they'd do to me. So. I went to the doctor when I got home today and you know my legs are hurting and stuff like that so I hadn't walked or anything but anyway feeling a little a uh, little tired a little wore down a uh, little weak tried to get some rest matter of fact feeling so weak and so tired and I'm gonna do something that I normally probably wouldn't do if I wasn't in this circumstance I'm gonna do a video about Tennessee the Tennessee volunteers um, one of the people, you know, when I made the, the video about, you know, Auburn being a cult, um, one of the people said something about Tennessee, like Tennessee was a cult. Now, I, I don't really look at Tennessee as a cult. Uh, they, to me, are more of a dysfunctional family <laughs> rather than a cult. Um, it's kind of like, um, you know, like a situation where, you know, your mom and dad were married for a long time and things were going real good and it seemed like you had a bright future and everything was great and then all of a sudden out of nowhere for no good reason, your dad runs your mom off and then your dad spends the next 20 or 30 years going through a rotating number of new moms for you. Uh, and you would get one and it'd seem like, man, this new mom's great. And then that mom was horrible and then you would get another mom. I mean, it's like this total, it, it, a total disaster. And you sit back and you watch it and, and, and I, I like Tennessee fans. In my opinion, now this is just me, this is just my experience. So your experience may be different with Tennessee fans. But there are a lot of ten, out of state Tennessee fans in Georgia and uh, they generally uh, are not very uh, they don't you know they're not obnoxious fans they don't give people a hard time uh, you know they tend to be pretty gracious when their team wins they like to poor mouth their team now that's not a bad thing poor mouth means that um, you know your team's pretty good and you're getting ready to play another team and everybody's like well you ought to beat them well, I don't know, we're just not all that good. I mean, we're getting better, we're really trying, and you know, we've got a lot of young players, you know, and you got a bunch of good players, and you're just kind of making it sound like, you know, well, I don't know if we could beat them, you know, like Alabama, they'll do that when they're playing, you know, some little low podunk school. Well, they're pretty good, their quarterback can really, th you know, you're gonna beat the crap out of them, everybody knows it. So, Tennessee fans tend to kind of poor mouth their team a little bit, which is not, that's not a bad thing. Um, so, but they tend to do that. They, um, they're just not mean fans. They don't, you know, uh, I've never gotten that from them. They've always been, you know, pretty good, pretty reasonable people. Um, now, why they like Tennessee, I don't know. I guess because they're just good. And they're so good that they have to pull for this dysfunctional family. And the thing about it is, it's family, so you can't get out. You can't divorce your dad. You can't get rid of your blood and not be your dad's son. I mean, once you're in that family and you're the Tennessee Vol, you're in it. And it's got so bad. Now normally, if bad things are happening in your family, you kind of keep it indoors, you know. Like, you, you don't say anything in front of other people, but you might say to your brother, uh, man, what is wrong with dad? He's lost his mind. Or what is mama wearing? She, is she crazy? And she, you, you can't, say that out in front of other people. Well, Tennessee has gotten so dysfunctional, I think they've about got to the point where it's like, they're running their mouths about their own family because it's horrible. And I don't blame them. I do not blame them. The University of Tennessee uh, really had it going and I don't know how or what has happened or who is in charge of it because I'm not a Tennessee fan, but how? Can they be as bad as they have been? Not that they've just been horrible, but they ought to be one of the top. How have they been as bad as they have been? And why 
Can they not get a good football? That makes absolutely no sense to me. How can the University of Tennessee not get a good football coach? I don't, that blows my mind. I have no, you don't, you don't even try to explain that to me. That's somebody's fault. So, I feel sorry for them. You know, I've felt so sorry for them the last few years. You know, it's like, you know, we'll be playing Tennessee and, and you know, you're like, you know, hey, come on, Tennessee, you know, fight us a little bit, you know, give us a little game, you know, <laughs> don't just lay down. I mean, it's like you feel sorry for, you know, and all the people that I know that are Tennessee fans, you know, probably if I wasn't all weak right now and sick, I don't feel like getting up, walking around, I don't feel like doing my gardening video, I don't feel like doing my weight loss video, I just want to sit here. So, if I wasn't feeling so weak and, and kind of sorry right now, you know, I probably wouldn't have said all that. But, uh, but Tennessee fans, uh, hang in there. Now, I don't want to see you beating Georgia and Alabama every year. Don't get me wrong. I don't want you that good. But, you know, y'all have kind of earned. <laughs> y'all deserve, deserve some good. And there's some SEC teams that it don't matter what happens, they're never going to be any good. But Tennessee, that's what's aggravating if I was a Tennessee fan, that that is what would aggravate me because Tennessee can be. They can recruit and get all those players. So, Tennessee, um, I'm sorry that all these things have happened to you. Um, I hope best of luck in the future. I hope you do better. hope you don't ever beat Georgia or Alabama again, but you can win every other game you play, uh, and I'll be right behind you 100%. I'm sorry about y'all's dysfunctional family. I'm pulling for y'all. We're praying for y'all. I'm just sorry this has had that. Nobody deserves that. So, Tennessee, hang in there, guys. Nichols Retirement Empire. Now, if you're a Tennessee fan and you haven't subscribed to me because I'm Alabama and Georgia, this would be a good time. You know, we're, we're kind of bonded here. We're kind of on the same thing here so let's go ahead and push that subscribe button and uh, I can't promise I'm gonna say anything else good about Tennessee and I might make a few jokes about Tennessee uh, as a matter of fact I pretty much guarantee you I'm gonna say some stuff about Tennessee just because I like to but uh, but their fans are so good natured they're not gonna try to kill you or anything so you can kind of do that with Tennessee so anyway you guys have a good night Nichols Retirement Empire I'm gonna lay here and try to recover from these 